An explosive afternoon in Delaware County as first responders gathered for a regional training session. Today, the ATF teaming up with different agencies to teach methods of investigating a scene where there are homemade explosives. Now, this training was open to law enforcement and first responders. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli was there and shows us the purpose behind this. Hard to hold. Through a course open to police, fire, and EMS, the ATF is training first responders on what to potentially look for when dealing with homemade explosives. If they're going to do something as simple as a domestic violence or if they're going out on another type call out and they're not expecting to see something like this, and then it's something that they can uh, visualize. Once they see it, they know that they might have an issue. And then know who to call, like bomb technicians, to respond. More than likely, a uh, high percentage of the chance we are not going to be the first on scene. The training takes place over two days with two four-hour sessions each day. The first part includes education on identifying homemade explosives and knowing the effects as well as recognizing components of an IED and collecting evidence. It's kind of an upcoming thing not only stateside but also across uh, you know other countries and it's eventually it potentially could get here so we wanted to get ahead of the curve a little bit and put on a little bit of awareness training. The next part of the training is a bit louder. Now, if you follow me over here on the field right behind this truck, bomb technicians are going to show us what it looks like when different types of devices are detonated. Three, two, one. Each explosion carried a bit of a different look, particularly the color of the smoke. That can give the investigator or the bomb squad members an idea of what kind of uh, explosive they may be dealing with. It may also be an indicator of a component inside a device or the explosive used. And also to demonstrate how readily accessible this stuff is. It's a reality they prepare for with agencies beyond just law enforcement. Having more eyes is helping more people know what to look out for in a potential emergency. Our goal is to make sure that we continue to work together so that we can mitigate any of the uh, new uh, instances. They do happen. The HME or the homemade explosive side not is not very prevalent, thank goodness. Reporting in Delaware County, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. The Delaware County Sheriff's Office says it took steps to help keep everybody safe during that training. Roads were blocked off as the devices were detonated. EMS was on the scene and everyone in the surrounding area was notified about what was happening there.